All right, hello everyone. I want to share this word I got yesterday. Um, also shared some things on the community page, and there's a couple Sand Hill cranes. I don't know if you can hear them. But uh, anyway, I'm not on our deck. It's about 40 degrees here. We're still getting freezing temperatures at night in Colorado, where I am anyway. Um, and anyhow, yeah, I posted a couple things on the community page. Um, I also put this one song in my playlist, which is kind of a pretty good song. So you can check that out. And... Uh, I posted this video about some kid on the news. I don't even know when it took place, but uh, I was looking at the comments and they were within the last couple of weeks. So I don't know. Some kid said some ball light fell out of the sky and uh, some weird creature appeared in front of him. So I don't know. Nothing surprises me anymore in this world. But, you know, just a reminder that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So. You know, people will say, oh, you know, Jesus wasn't the real name of, you know, he who died for us on the cross or, you know, they'll say it's Yeshua. And anyway, I believe he has many names and, um, you know, I've shared my migraines were healed in the name of Jesus. I had these things for 10 years after a car accident. Um, it's all in my testimony videos. I can post them again in the comments. Um, my brother, who basically, you know, became a Christian a few years ago and started reading the Bible, he said he literally, like, had, like, a demon. He believed he felt lighter after this thing left, and he rebuked it in the name of Jesus, and... He says the thing even hit him in the back before it took off. And uh, I shared that story before. And uh, he's had some back issues for some time. Um, and then recently, within the last couple months, I went to a church, sort of a workshop on deliverance. And, you know, these, you know, demonic things or spirits of oppression I don't I don't know whatever you want to call them but I mean you know I believe Christians surely can have some type of spirits coming against them and I know for me I've I've had some of these issues and um but anyway when I was at this workshop I saw you know uh this guy, we prayed for the Holy Spirit, and I was shaking kind of uncontrollably. I started crying. I was so filled with Holy Spirit, and um, we said these deliverance prayers. And uh, gosh, even before that, like, I mean, there was a lady. She started just like coughing up this whatever it was. She was like, <laughs> like right in front of me, and you know. This guy, to the best of my knowledge, didn't say anything contradictory to the word. And he was, you know, calling on the Holy Spirit and um, casting these things out in Jesus' name. And people were repenting and asking for forgiveness and casting certain things out. And I even had another friend that when the guy started talking about a spirit of jealousy... This is like a friend of mine, a pretty good friend, and her and her husband were across the way, and she started just kind of going, ah! like, it was some pretty, pretty different stuff that I experienced. So, you know, but anyway, I'm definitely confident that anything that comes against us, um, if we know the Lord and we're truly um, indwelt with Holy Spirit, you know, we don't have anything to worry about and, you know, we need to just stand on the truth and stand in faith and be bold and cast these things out in Jesus name. And uh, anyway, that video I posted on the community page, it was, it was pretty, pretty different. But uh, 
you know, things in this world, like I said, nothing surprises me anymore. Um, I've been getting these words since 2015. And the Lord, what I heard was the time of my coming is at hand. And, you know, that was seven, eight years ago. So um, I've given testimony and, you know, we're to test the spirits, whether they're of God. And that's first John four. And, uh, you know, we're to, we're to try not to sin, read first John two, but read, you know, just read the whole Bible that calls us to turn from sin, no matter what you think repentance means. But when we turn to Lord, turn to the Lord and believe on Jesus Christ, who died for us, the image of the invisible God who came in the flesh, um, you know, we receive Holy Spirit, and then big changes happen in us, and we're called to do the works that which were ordained before time. That's Ephesians 10. So we're saved by grace through faith, not of ourselves, lest anyone boasts, but we're also called to do the uh, the works, and uh, we're, we bear fruit. So people out there saying just believe and, you know there's other things to it in the Bible um, you know and again I would say read James 2 and uh, I get a lot of people saying oh we don't we need to ignore these books or that but I'm like well I'm just taking the high road and I know this I know the Lord I'm absolutely positive and I just question whether a lot of these other people in religion and sects of Christianity even know the Lord to believe in some of the false doctrines that they believe in so i would encourage you to really seek the lord and be led by his spirit of truth and uh just read a king james bible and uh i'd compare it to what you're reading especially in your churches because they're, they're they're very greatly so anyway um and if you truly know the lord you'll be led in his spirit of truth and then you know, you won't give in to any of these false doctrines. So, all right, this is the word I received, and uh, I'll share it right now. And uh, I'm out here with my coffee, and uh, gosh, it's getting cold. The wind's picking up. It's like, I guess I have 40 degrees. My wife and I, we drink these electrolyte drinks. We put, like, ginger and organic lemon juice in them, and I don't know. We try to be healthy, I guess. And my coffee has, like, coconut milk from a can it's like organic and we use stevia to sweeten it and here comes Sheldon I don't know if he's gonna come over here but maybe I'll grab him Sheldon come here my buddy boy this is my buddy Sheldon this is my one of our cats we got three we got Sheldon Gracie and Miles and Sheldon's hairy and Sheldon slept to me slept next to me last night for a couple hours all snuggled up next to my leg. But I kind of flop around like a fish when I sleep off and then uh, he gets irritated and then he leaves. <laughs> but anyway, this is the word I received. So here we go. Your Lord is merciful to those who love him and so long for his appearing. Ye who so long to be without sin, ye who seek to put away sin and yet stumble, ye convicted in your sin and so forsake sin, I tell you, you shall not be ashamed before your God, for you seek to walk in his ways. Although your works be as filthy rags, ye, the children of God, know these things, for they have, been, for they have proven themselves studied. But your Lord doth see your good works, for ye have been called to be the light of the world. Ye are the salt of the earth, for ye do the works of the Father, which have been ordained before time. For I was hungry and you fed me. It's being really filled with the Holy Spirit right now. I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I am your Lord, and so your Lord reveals that which the Father hath revealed. And ye are called friends of God. So then, dear ones, be not dismayed, but continue in the race, for it is already won. And if you come to me in repentance, forsaking that which ye be ashamed of, Ye are washed, sanctified, and made holy through the blood of Christ, and you shall not be ashamed, nor the door shut unto you. 
For you have not placed your faith in the world, but ye seek my kingdom first. And I say again, you who so walk in my ways, obedient unto your Lord, are called children of God. But they, who so in believing and not seeking to walk in my ways, and so sinning willfully, and so forsaking righteousness, these are deceived, and also be children of the wicked one. For they who know the Lord are filled with his spirit, and so ye know them by their fruits. For these also work unto their heavenly Father, and are redeemed by he that which is Christ. Therefore ye are his inheritance. This <laughs> being really filled with Holy Spirit right now. Um, hope you all have a good day. I shared some things on the community page too. Um, you know, if I pray and seek the Lord daily and read his word and, you know, I usually have a wonderful day. Faith comes through hearing and hearing by the word of God. And uh, if we don't read his word, then, you know, how do you please God? Because it's impossible to please God without faith, right? So we need to be in his word. And again, I suggest the King James. And uh, I don't know if the modern ones are all, all the same. I haven't really compared lately, but... Uh, all I know is when I truly sought the Lord and sought to walk in his ways and I literally asked for discernment and for him to guide me because of all these different sects of Christianity and religions and I shared that I studied Joseph Campbell and went all over the world and said oh all religions are looking for a higher power well I could tell you this I shared that I got a doctoral degree and uh, when I tried to research the Bible I found all the archaeological, prophetic, and spiritual evidence that could you could ever want. It's all there. You just got to look for it. And, uh, you know, we prove ourselves studied. And um, I think a lot of it's already been done. You just got to gotta seek it. I'll, I'll, I'll search for it. I'm <laughs> freezing. But uh, um, I'll share some of those links on in the comments as well so and uh, i'm feeling better and better every day again I have that lyme disease i just think i'm recovering from it now but uh i'm gonna keep on with these sort of tinctures i'm doing and um got a lot of work to do around here we caretake a property and all this ranch land so um anyway i guess that's all i gotta say and uh get on your bike <laughs> All right, God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.